Osteoporosis, here's the thing. Not only should you stay active when you have osteoporosis, but your bones kind of need you to. But if you've been diagnosed with it today, I'm gonna show you some things you need to avoid, even if I'm doing them in my workout videos. Hello, it's Amy from Be Healthy Enough, doing what I love to do, sharing my knowledge and experience to inspire you to find what being healthy enough means to you. That was my dog, Whiskey, whiskey by the way. For those of you who don't know me, I help women over 50 get moving and feel better. I started personal training in 2014 after retiring from my 26 year career as an engineering project manager. And I set out to follow my passion to help, other, help others lead healthy, productive lives. Back in January 2019, I took my business online because I wanted to provide a less expensive way for those of you over 50 to exercise. As of today, February 2021, I uploaded my 150th workout video. My videos are designed for, for us over 50 with low impact cardio because it's easier on our joints, strength training because that's so important, Pilates because a strong core equals a strong body, and I also have some yoga, stretch, and foam rolling to relax and just and restore. I have been expanding my knowledge on what us over 50 peeps need and bone health has been a big component. Many of my videos are designed to help maintain your bone density, which you start to lose in your 30s by the way, but I have to be really honest, I have not been taking into account those of you who have already been diagnosed with osteopenia or worse, osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is a condition where your body loses too much or makes too little bone tissue, and it leaves your bones brittle, weak, and more likely to break. Osteopenia is when your bones are weaker than normal, but not quite far enough to break easily. A lot of the moves I do in my videos are a no-no because they may increase your risk of fracture. So today I'm going to give you a quick lesson on what moves to stay away from if you've been diagnosed with osteoporosis or osteopenia. Before I get started, I am not a doctor, so please listen to what he or she says above anyone else. Here we go. The first one is any high impact moves. I don't do much of these, um, but there are some little jumps that I might do. Some of those you might want to stay away from because there might be too much force on relatively weak bones. If you're not working out to my videos, you should really take a look at any high impact activities, activities you're doing such as running, jumping rope, or anything with a high risk of fall, such as skiing or skating or impact sports. Number two, any exercise where you need to bend forward and or twist at the waist. These both can raise the risk of compression fractures in your spine. Here are some examples of things you can do instead while I'm doing those moves in the workout videos. First one is folding forward. I sometimes do this in Pilates where you reach down and touch your toes. Instead of doing that, I want you to reach up and over or reach back while we're bending forward. There are a couple of moves in Pilates that you should not do. One of them is the roll up, where I come down on the ground and have you roll up. Don't do that one. Or I'll, sometimes I'll do what's called a rolling like a ball this way. Okay. Don't do that one. And then I don't do this in many of my Pilates videos yet, but the roll over. So this is where you come up and then roll down and around. And that is very risky for your spine. What I'd like you to do instead, if I'm doing any of those two different moves you can try. One is an alternating toe tap or heel tap keeping the legs at tabletop, 90 degree bend. You bring one foot down towards the floor and then back. And then the other way, keeping your low back down towards the mat and your tummy and core engaged. You could do that. You can make it a little bit harder by bringing your feet and your knees together and coming down that way. You can make it really hard by doing a straight leg lower while we're doing those rolling like a ball, rollovers or roll-ups. 
The other move I want you to avoid is the bicycle or the crisscross because it twists and we don't want any twisting at the waist. Let me show you the move I'm talking about. This one where we do this move or even with your feet on the ground twisting that way. I do those moves a lot because they're really effective core exercises. But here's what you can do instead. You can take out the twisting, just keeping your head on the ground and reaching your legs straight out and then back. You can do a single leg stretch or you can try a double leg stretch, keeping that low back on the mat while we're doing the bicycle. The other thing I do not want you to do when we're doing it is a spine twist. A lot of the times in some of the stretching at the end, I'll have you do a twist like this, okay? Don't do that stretch when we're doing that, okay? What I'd like you to do is just sit comfortably and maybe reaching up over to the side, or you can reach front and stretch the back, or you can just reach straight up and stretch backwards like that. Another pose that you shouldn't do in yoga or in any of the videos, I don't do this in many of my videos, is the pigeon pose or a deep hip stretch. A pigeon pose is, um, let me show you really quickly. You're, a lot of times in yoga, you'll do this from a downward dog position and then you'll swing that knee forward and then you'll come down. It's a really good hip stretch, but that can be a little bit challenging on weak bones. So stay away from that hip stretch. What you can do is a nice, just an inner thigh stretch, opening here and leaning forward. You can bring one leg forward and stretch that way, stretching all those muscles around the hips. I have also heard that golf, because of its twisting motion, may be risky for anyone with osteoporosis. Remember, you should always talk to your healthcare provider about which types of exercise are best and safe for you and which ones you should not do or at least modify. Then, as you're continuing to exercise and build bone strength using the Be Healthy Enough online exercise platform, skip the moves you shouldn't do and rest or replace them with safer versions. That's it. Let me know if this has helped or if you have any other questions I can research and I'll go do that for you. Have a great day. Bye.